please don't take this away from us. I want to live. I was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. Needless to say that this was the most shocking experience of my life. And also it's a death sentence. I was given six months to two years. The five year survival rate for stage four stomach cancer patients is only 4% been diagnosed with a cancer like gastric stomach cancer is very rare in the United States, which means uh, limited treatment options, even more so a later stage is like stage four. Hi, my name is Lissa, and I have a subset of stomach cancer, which is called diffuse gastric cancer. Typically, there is no viable biomarkers. If I have the chance to try immunotherapy when my disease progresses, which odds are 95% of the time it will, why would I not want to have the opportunity to try to have something that could potentially save my life? My name is Amit Dhar, and I'm a stage four gastric cancer survivor. The reason why I'm still able to speak to you today and I'm alive is because, immune, because of immunotherapy. Hi, my name's Catherine. I have gastric adenocarcinoma. My pdl one score is negative. My HER2 is positive. My oncologist put me on Keytruda, Herceptin, and uh, Folfox to treat my disease. Most patients' tumors will have some degree of some biomarker. It's really about trying to predict who is more likely to get a survival improvement from a given biomarker. I've tried to think of the ways to make this analogy in regards to biomarkers. If you're five foot tall, you probably can't dunk a basketball, but there are probably some five foot tall people who can. The average seven foot person is definitely able to dunk, although there are still some seven foot people who can't dunk. Biomarkers is kind of the same way. Let's take PDL1 for example. A PDL1 negative patient, like a five foot person, probably doesn't get a lot of bang for the buck from adding PD1, but there are still PDL1 negative patients who benefit. My name is Ruben Orozco. Does immunotherapy work? I'm here to tell you it does. I was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. My doctor right away started me on both chemo and immunotherapy. After 30 rounds of chemo and immunotherapy, my PET scan started to show no evidence of disease. She stopped the chemo and we continued on with immunotherapy. This coming Tuesday, September 10th, will be my 75th round of immunotherapy. Uh, my doctor indicated to me that as long as my body feels good, we're going to continue on with the treatment. As a stage four patient myself, I believe it's only compassionate to allow patients to explore all available options to them. I was able to get my biomarkers tested and my results were that I'm HER2 positive and PDL1 positive. Thanks to these biomarker findings, I was able to receive the latest treatment options and treatment is working. I can tell you that my targeted therapy based on biomarker testing has given me a fighting chance and for that I'm incredibly grateful. I wanted him to try and continue on immunotherapy and the doctor in Houston said, well, he can't because he doesn't have any of the biomarkers. I see articles that show that even patients that don't have these certain biomarkers have responded to immunotherapy. And we need more data sets to analyze the future uses of immunotherapy in combination with systemic and other treatments. Access to immunotherapy is critical for patients like me. And while I ask you to consider all the evidence, please also consider the, the patient's point of view. Keytruda has made a big difference. My disease is stable. I'm strong and healthy. Please don't remove this option for future patients who might score low on PDL or other biomarkers. You never know who's going to respond well to these drugs. I don't know if it would have changed anything for him, but just excluding this group of patients is such a disservice. They deserve more.